Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic and a uh, fantastic looking puzzle. I think it just came in yesterday from Nordy, but Simon said, get this on the channel as soon as you can um, and save yourself the trouble with the thumbnail because this is a brilliant design. Um, now, Nordy, the constructor, told us that it's inspired by the the distill art movement or neoplasticism. Now, I hadn't heard either of those words and uh, I thought it just looks a bit like a Mondrian thing to me. Anyway, it turns out I was right. Mondrian is part of de Steel and neoplasticism. So uh, I must be some sort of culture vulture after all. I really don't know a lot about art, modern art or anything to do with anything like that. But I do like the look of this puzzle. Um, I'm interested in the rule set as well, but we'll get to that in a minute. Don't forget that on Patreon we have um, Jay Dyer's incredible numeric alchemy hunt. Still one week left. Um, also, oh, it's brilliant, by the way. It is just brilliant. The plaudits for it from people who've solved it are phenomenal. Um, and I did just also put up a video of myself opening some Christmas posts tomorrow, though. Uh, the latest post will be my monthly battle with the Times monthly club special crossword, um, which I had a go at last night. So I'll have edited that by tomorrow and it'll be up on Patreon. Uh, what else have we got going on? We've got, um, of course, all our apps and, oh, streaming, streaming now. I claimed yesterday that we might be streaming yesterday. We're not. We're streaming now tonight. If you're watching this as it's just come out, Put it on pause, go over to the stream. We're an hour in by this point. Uh, what are we doing? We're doing Tai Chi. Simon wants to go back to the game Tai Chi, which he was really enjoying. We've had very varying reports on how long it might take us to finish the game. Somewhere between four and eight videos of uh, streams of the normal length that we do. So. I don't know. I don't know if we will. I, I would doubt it myself. But anyway, um, we... What else? That's probably it, I would think. Uh, do check out all the links under the video, as usual. Now, let's have a look at the rules of this puzzle by Nordy. Nordy, I think, of as a very hard constructor. Um, so I'm, I go into this with some trepidation. But it's a rule set that appeals. Normal rule, normal Sudoku rules apply. So that's one to nine in every row, column, and three by three box of the grid. Along lines, adjacent digits must be consecutive and or in a ratio of two to one. Now you will recognize those rules. These are called crop key lines by Nordy. And basically there is a crop key relationship between any two neighboring digits along the lines. Um, so this could be... I mean, that's quite a lot of possibilities. This could be 1 and 2, or 7 and 8, or 4 and 8, because there's either a difference of 1 or a ratio of 2 to 1. Um, all the lines, by the way, are the same. The colours are just for the art. There is even a grey version of this, where all the lines are grey, and that's available in the links under the video, so you can try that. But... All the lines act in the same way. I, it's fascinating. I, I look at this and that rule set. I have no idea how we're going to begin because there's not a digit that can be excluded from a line. Anyway, I am going to start now. Stop thinking about it before I start the clock. Let's get cracking and see how we go. You can try it on the link under the video. I have to think about it from scratch. Right, I think I think the aid memoir is coming back. There's one commenter who loves it when I do an aid memoir for some reason. So I'm just going to use these first two columns to write down the relationships that are possible between one digit and, and the other digits. So let's... Oops... So these are the numbers that are one bigger. Then we can do the numbers that are one smaller than the root digit. Then we can do the black dot relationships. Yeah, they, they are... Oh, four can have two and eight. They are a bit limited. Yes, okay. So one 
can th this is what these digits can be next to on a line. So one can only be next to two. If one is on a line, it can only be next to two. Now, you might think that's a problem because these lines are all loops of various sort, be they triangle, square, oblong, or indeed irregular hexagon. Um, but unfortunately, it's not a problem. For instance, you could easily have a one here and then you would have twos on both of those sides of it and they don't see each other so two can be next to one or three on a white dot or one or four on a black dot so sorry I'm using the traditional crop key terminology white dots are consecutive relationships black dots are two to one ratio relationships four has four possible neighbors but only okay one and nine only have one each and that's interesting seven and five which are not black dot digits only have two possible neighbors do I leave this aid memoir up or take it down okay I'm gonna take it down because it wouldn't take long to recreate if I wanted to now this middle box has got a lot of lines in it. There's only that cell that doesn't have a line in it. Right, I did say that this cell can have two of the same neighbours, but actually, this is very important. None of the other cells in this box can. Now, the issue here is whether, <laughs> whether your neighbours, if you're on the line, can your neighbours see each other? For this cell, its neighbours can see each other. So this couldn't be a 1, because a 1 has to have 2 as its neighbour. So that would make both of these cells a 2. But they see each other, and that means you can't put two twos in there. It's not allowed by Sudoku rules. So that's what I'm talking about as seeing, in being in the same line, being in the same row, column, or box. So nothing on the yellow square diamond can see can be one or nine. That can't because its two neighbours are in the same box and actually this can't because its two neighbours are in the same column and this can't because its two neighbours are in the same column. And I think that just leaves us with these two cells which are the only places one and nine can go in the central box and this one, my example cell of where you could have a digit that has two of the same neighbour. This one does have two of the same neighbour. So actually, let's not make those green. Let's make these two the same colour. They're either two or eight. And now what? I thought for a moment this only had two cells that... that... Is it worth colouring the cells that have neighbours that don't see each other? Could do. Let's have a look at that. So that one, obviously, because we know it, that one, its neighbours don't see each other. Oh, this is on the end of a line, so... No, hang on, it's on the end of a blue line, but it's not on the end of a yellow line. However, on the yellow line, its neighbours don't see each other. Same is true here. So it turns out there are probably plenty of digits. Oh, not so good on the yellow. That one. Oh, this is tricky to even understand. That one. All of these cells, their neighbours on the lines, don't see each other, so they could hold one or nine. This is probably pointless, I'm beginning to think. And that one. I think that may be all. Let's make them green. So those green cells could be one or nine but obviously an empty cell that has no line in it could also be one or nine and therefore I don't think we've got enough lines clustered around I'm not sure that that helps at all I can't I haven't seen any benefit of these two digits being the same you know I can look in this cell I suppose two can't be next to eight so that couldn't be two whatever 
Oh no, I'm, I'm looking for the same digit. So if they were twos, that can't be a two because two and two don't have the right relationship. But any of those three could. And I would have thought any of those four. Oh, oh I've been very silly. Okay, this little triangle which goes nowhere near anything else. This might matter the most. I am now going to do the aid memoir again, as I threatened I might. Uh, so, let's see how quick I can get these possibilities down here. Yeah, this is right. Now, this one has a lot. Two, three, five, and eight, yes. Six, two, and four. One, three, and four, and a two. Now, I'm thinking about this triangle. Now, that could be two, three, four. Yes, they all have to have relationships with each other. So, I think the way to think about this is, if there are two white dots on it, you've got a sequence of three digits. Therefore, you need to have the two, obviously, the, each pair of consecutives in that sequence has a relationship with each other. But does the pair that are two apart have a two to one relationship. And actually, I think that only applies between two and four. So two, three, four is possible. Now, what if there were two black dots on it? Then there'd be a sequence of either one, two, four, but one and four don't have a relationship, or two, four, eight, but two and eight don't have a relationship. So I think that's, that triangle has to be two, three, four. Now, can we think about this square or rhombus. See, two, three, four, five wouldn't work. Three, four, five, six, if you had a sequence, would work. Because three, obviously, the consecutives are connected to each other, and then the ends are three and six. But are there other foursomes that would work here? They're probably, it's quite difficult. Two, four, three, six. No. I don't know. Do I have to case test all the possibilities? I can't case test all the possibilities for this. Okay, I'm taking out the Ed Memoir again. I think I've proved that this little yellow triangle is two, three, four because there's no other group that has the relationship each with the other. It's very, it's very uh, menage a trois, isn't it? Um, I was thinking that would help, but I'm not convinced it does. Well, hang on, these can't be one or nine because I haven't greened them and they're on a line. Oh, okay. Oh, so they're from five, six, seven and eight. Okay, the greening might be useful now. These, none of those have a black dot relationship. These are going to have to be a set of three consecutive digits in order. That is fact. Yeah, that, oh, no, 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 no. I've made a mistake. Okay. I have made a mistake there because, uh, because, what's going on? Nothing. Because this, I should have greened and this. Their neighbours don't see each other. Bother. So now this doesn't have to be a set of consecutive digits from five, six, seven, eight. I, d I just thought I'd better check each of these cells. That's neighbours see each other. That one, its neighbours obviously see each other. That one, that's where I ran into this issue. So actually this greening may not have been useful. Now, does it make a difference if this can be 1 or 9? Well, it makes a little difference. doesn't make much, actually. If this is 9, that makes this 8 and that makes this 7. If this is 1, it's impossible because that can't be 2. So, these are either a set of three consecutive digits from 5, 6, 7, 8, or... That's a 9, this is an 8, and that's a 7. It couldn't be a 4, because 4 is up here. So these are always a set of three consecutive digits. 
They're either 987, 876 or 765. And the middle one is always 6, 7 or 8. The trouble is one of those sets doesn't have an 8 in it, so it doesn't force this to be a 2, which I rather... OK, let's say this was a 2. What happens to the yellow diamond here? Which I've now variously called a diamond, a rhombus and a square. It is a... Oh, it's not a shape shifter. <laughs> I'm a shape namer. Um, right, if that's not a 2... Sorry, if... Yes, if that is a 2... Oh, 3456. These could obviously be 3456. And that wouldn't work. That wouldn't work, because this would have to be 7 or 8, and that doesn't connect, neither connects to 2. Right. So if this was a 2, these can't have 1 or 2 in. How could they connect up? If Only by being 3, 4, 5, 6. I'm convinced of that. I need to just quickly try and think about the possibilities there. If can't use 1 and 2. Obviously consecutive relationships are fine, but at some point you've got to use a black dot to join things up. You can join up 4 and 8, but then you can't get them connected another way with 5, 6 and 7. There's no way. This cannot be a 2. I don't know if this has to be 3, 4, 5, 6. I suspect it does, but I don't know that. But I do know that this can't be a 2. No. Yes, I do know that this can't be a 2, because that would have then definitely have to be 3, 4, 5, 6, and this cell would be impossible. So that's an 8. Right, I've got a digit. Say not the struggle, naught availeth. The labour and the wounds are vain. The enemy faints not, nor faileth. And as things have been, they remain, because we've made some progress. Right! Eight there is brilliant for this group. That is brilliant. That is exactly... I didn't realise that's what I wanted to get, but I did. I still think this is 2, 4, 3, 6. Then that can be 7. OK, but let me... Sorry, I don't mean 2, 3, 4. I don't mean 2, 3, 4, 6. I mean 3, 4, 5, 6. But I don't know that. What I do know is that there's no 8 in this sequence, and it must be 7, 6, 5. 6 there, 5 and 7 here. Now... Each of those only has one pairing number. And five, and, oh, I was going to say neither of these can be a six, but that one can be. Bother. So seven will go with eight, and five will go with four, but six could get in that cell. I thought I was going to get a four-eight pair, and I don't. I do get a one-eight-nine triple up here in box one. Oh, I'm going to have to go back to thinking about this. See, I'm sure it is going to be 3, 4, 5, 6. Listen, where, where does 7 go in this box? And 5? That can't be 5. I don't know. I don't. I thought this was an absolute lock. It does this diamond have to be three, four, five, six? I think it does. Two, three, six. That won't join up with anything. How can I simply prove this has to be 3, 4, 5, 6? It can't have 7 in it. Because 7 can only be next to 8 and 6, so it couldn't have one neighbour. So one of those is definitely 7. That's simple enough. Now, if 2 was in it, which I think is the other number that isn't, 2 would, be have, would have to be next to 3 and 4. And 3 and 4 cannot connect up with another number. So that's it. That's good enough. 2 cannot be on the line 2 as well. This is a 2-7 pair. 7 is here because 2 doesn't connect to 8. That's a 2. 
And these are from two's possible neighbours of 1, 3, 4. But that one can't be 1 because it's not green, i.e. that one can't be 2. Now, this is a 6-cell oblong. I, I could try and join it up, but I don't really want to. I mean, I'm not marking in any pencil marks here. These are obviously 3, 4, 5, 6, but... And they must go in that orientation, either clockwise or anti-clockwise, but they could start anywhere. It's difficult to do anything. Now, on the other side of this 8, why have I never marked this? This is 7 or 4. Right, if it's a 7, this can't be 8, because 8's there. If it's a 7, this is 6. Oh, but if it's a 4, there's all those possibilities. 2, 3, and 5. Mind you, they have to now join up with something from there. So 3, if it's not 2, can join to 4 or 6. But 4 can join to 2, 3, 5, or 8. Ah, oh, so many possibilities. OK, 7 doesn't have possibilities. 7 can only join to 8 and 6. This must be a 6. And it can... Well, both of those, lots of these can stop being green because they don't contain 1 or 9. Oh, well, that one did. I don't... I mean, I'm not really sure why I'm marking these anymore. Ah, oh, this can't anymore because it can't contain 1. And if it had a 9 in, that would be 8. So maybe that is... E OK, I'm not ungreening things. I mean, I'm not giving up on green. In fact, I'm continuing to use it. That can't be 1 or 9. Six is now in one of those cells. Six must be next to three on the line, so that's in one of those two. And three... No, what else is six next to? It's next to five on the line. So actually, this is a three-five pair. That's a six-four pair. Oh, that's great. That gives me a three here. Right. Now, that really cuts down the options here to four or six. And which of those can link up with what's not a 3 or a 6 here, because we've got that 4-6 pair? Right. Oh, rats. It could be 4-2 or 6-5. It can't be 4-2, because what would that be? 7 wouldn't connect to 2, and it couldn't be a 4. So I think this has to be 6-5. Let me... No, hang on. It could be 4-5. Either way around, that's a 5. But that makes this a 4, and now that definitely makes this a 6. And we're in business. Look, that 4's sorted out these things, 8 and 6. That must be 7 touching 8. That must be 5. That's not 8. This, to join 6 and 8, must be 7. Yeah, I think that's right. 4, 3, 6, 5, 8, 1, 9. This is a 2, 7 pair by Sudoku, a naked pair, that rare beast. We had a main menage a trois in the corner. Now we've got a naked pair. Um, sorry, I may have to deal with that. That's very annoying. No, somebody else is good. Right, that's, that is 1 or 9. I'm going to mark that as green. So's that. I'm going to mark that as green. This is an 8. I think the... Um, this is a very interesting puzzle, isn't it? Seven, eight, four, six, three. I'm trying to do Sudoku now because I feel so much more comfortable with that. Ah, one of these is a two, and there's a two there. And that's a sort of virtual X-wing on twos. It means that the two in column three now can't be in any of those cells and is on the line. Which is information, but possibly not that very not that helpful. Now this six could connect up to not five, but three or seven there. Let's see if we can join that up to this. Oh, and that's connect. Oh, let, I don't know which of these to focus on first. This one, because we've only got one six there. Six can join up to three, five, or seven. Now, what makes a match there? Not one. This can't be one, can it? No. It can't be... So it's not green, by the way. It can't be three, because that won't work either. That's a four, suddenly. And this isn't seven. Now... 4 normally joins up to 2, 3, 5, or 8. Which one of those, which sort of pair can we achieve here? 7, 8. 
This can't be 5, so that wouldn't work. And it can't be 3. 3 can't join to either itself or 7. So we've either got a 2, 3 or an 8, 7 pair in these cells. And that's 3 or 5. Right, let's go with this. OK, this can't be 7, because they would have to be 6 and 8, and neither can be either, if you see what I mean. So that's a 2. 2 can join with 1, 3 or 4. So 1 or 3 there. Mm, any of those here. What can 1 join with? Only 2. Whereas 3 can join with 2, 4 or 6. And suddenly the, the possibilities are mushrooming out and it it's not so easy to constrain anything. Yeah, and I mean, this, this is a heart sort of shape up here, this hexagon, but it's not one I love at the moment in terms of solving the puzzle. Okay, what can I do next? Five, six, seven. Okay, down here, what does two join to? Oh, the trouble is all of one, three, and four are all possible down here. That should have been green. Oh, no, I worked out it's not green because it can't be one or nine. Okay. Hmm, that's quite interesting. It means nine's definitely in one of those two cells. Doesn't quite mean the same for one, unfortunately. Right, where should I look next? I'm quite pleased with the progress, but it's a sticky puzzle, isn't it? Yeah, these, these double croc key relationship possibilities are so open-ended. Um, 8, 6, 7 and 2 has been used up. Six is in one of those cells. I don't think that helps. Oh, OK. This can theoretically be one f by, by Sudoku, by basic Sudoku, because it can't be those digits. This is 1, 5, 6, 7 or 9. However, it is not 1 or 9 because its neighbours see each other. It's not a green cell. So it's 5, 6 or 7. Now, two of those are very constrained. If it was 5, its neighbours would have to be 6 and 4, and that cell cannot be either 6 or 4, so it's not 5. Right, now we're getting down to business. If it's seven, that cell can't be six or eight either. That doesn't work. That is the crucial cell at the top of the heart now. Right, so that's a six. Its neighbours are from three, five and seven. But they're not very constrained, annoyingly. And this relationship is very open-ended. That Almost any white dot is possible there. And indeed a three, six black dot. Oh no, that can't be a 6, because we've just put a 6 here. Right, this can't be a 7 anymore. That's getting better. We're down to 3 or 5 there. If that's a 2, that has to be a 3. Then that would have to be a 1. OK, what about up here? 3, 5 or 7. And if this can't be 6... I think it's got to be even weirdly because three only connects to even digits and so does five and seven so that's two or four or eight it could be bother nearly no it can't be eight there's an eight in that cell that is two or four and that's a pair and that gives us this cell oh that's mad that three looks down here five there three here gives us a five here doesn't probably do any more than that but can we use the 2, 4 pair again for something? 3, 2, 4, 6. Ah, not really. Now, I got that from that cell. So joining up to here, ooh, you can nearly rule out a 4, but that could be a 3. OK. <laughs> Need to take a bit more care again. Oh, six in this box. In box two. Has to be there. If it can't be there. Oh, Sudoku. I haven't done a bit of Sudoku in a while. 
Um, ah. Oh, this is crazy, this puzzle. It just makes your mind go off at tangents all the time. Oh, look, seven. Since we got a seven there, that three has been obvious. Sorry if you were shouting. Two there. Doesn't fix anything. Stops two being there. Now, a two here would need a oh, three or four. Oh, this is useless. Well, this can't be green anymore. If that was a one, those would both have to be twos, and they can't be. So, uh, hang on. Could it be a nine? No, because we need a two in one of these positions, and nine, eight, two doesn't get it done. So it's not green. It can't be one or nine. So none of these are nine. Uh, I'm not getting a one, eight, nine triple here, am I? Don't know. What can two be with on this line? None of them can be one. And none of these can't be one. So wherever two is here, its neighbours are three and four. Yeah, that's right. So that is three or four. And whichever of these is two has a neighbour here that is three or four. And what does the three or four join to on the other side from the two? Not six or five. Ooh. Four can join to eight. Bother. Three or four cannot join to one. Four can join to two, three, which are irrelevant, five, which isn't allowed, or eight. Three can only join to two and four, which are irrelevant, or six, which is not allowed. This has to be a two, four, eight triple. That is quite hard to see, but it is true. There is no other possibility that is going to work here. Wait, there is. There is. Why didn't I see that? Four in the middle, two there, and three there. So is it always four in the middle? Let's let's just try and do that first. No, it doesn't have to be. It could be two, three, four. Okay, my, my thinking was absolutely foggy there. Let's hope it hasn't been elsewhere. Because I think the puzzle's gone all right, but... It is easy to, to slip into making assumptions that just aren't valid. Oh, one of those by Sudoku is definitely a three. I don't think that resolves anything. That's so irritating. Um, do... do would one of these have to be a three? Ah, interesting. Okay, if that wasn't a three, it would be one or four. That would have to be two. And if that's two, this does have to be three. So again, one of these is a three. And all that proves is that that cell is not a three. It proves one of these two is a three. This can't be six, and it must connect to a three, so it is two or four, and that is now a pair up the central column, making this one or nine, and these one seven or nine. Now, three here must connect to either two or four this side, which could be four there, then we'd have threes here, and that would probably be a two. So this either goes four, three, two, or if the three is connecting... Hang on. Four, three, two. If the three there is connecting to a four here. Why did I do it that way around? If that's a three... Then this is a four. I don't know. Oh, hang on, there's a three in one of these cells. That's not a three. That's very obvious. That's a five. This can't be a five. 
It can't be a 7 if that's now 2 or 4. That is a definite 3, right. 3s are much better off than I had realised. OK, so that has to be a 5 now. We must know what this is. It's a 4. This is a 2. That's in a pair. That's a 4. Uh, this one I don't know. Let's look at this 4 then. 4 can be next to 2, 3, 5 or 8, which makes that either 3 or 8 and that 2, 3 or 8. One of these two is definitely a two. Now, three or eight here. Eight can connect to seven, nine, or four. I don't think this cell can be any of those. It can't be four or seven by Sudoku, and it can't be nine because that can't be an eight. So, this is not an eight, this is a three. That's a four. This one is not a three, obviously. Now, this connects a 4 with a 2 or 8. 4 uses 2, 3, 5 or 8. Can't be 5 in the column. 2, 3 or 8 there. 8 doesn't connect to 8 or 2, nor does 2. That's a 3. That is a 2. I think we're going to be able to finish now. He says, dramatically overstating what he's understood about the puzzle. Uh, this one is 2 or 8 but it's got to connect to 3, so it's 2. That is now 1, 8 or 9. In fact, that gives a 1, 2, 9 triple as well. We can write in 3 and 4. That fixes 2 and 4. Um, come on, this is working now. 9 is still in one of those. 7, 6, 5, 8, 3. 2 can't be there. 2 in this row is here. That might be all the 2's in the grid. Oh, well, it is when we do that one. There we go. Twos are done. This is a 149 triple along here, so that's a 7. This is a 5 8 pair. I know the order. That's not an 8, that is. This is a 7. We've got a 1 9 pair at the top. We're going to get left with a lot of 1 9 pairs, I'm sensing. 3, 8, 9, 2, 5. These can't be 6 and 4. That's a naked 1, 7 pair. So that gets me that digit, which feels like it might be the last on a line. I think it was. No, this one is. There we go. 4. It gets us an 8 here. That's a 9 now. Um, looks like 1, 9 pairs apart from this one. Uh, let's have a look at the rows. That is 1 or 7. So is that, I think. So this sees 6, 8, 2, 3, 4, 9, 5. This sees those same digits. So we can write in 6 and 8 in the, in the rest of the row. 7 and 5 have to be in these cells. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. So that sorts out the 1, 7 pair. That 1 gets up to the 1, 9s, which is going to sort out all the 1, 9s in the grid suddenly. Brilliant. Yeah, look, it's done them all. Right, and 1, 8 here. That sorts out 1, 7. One box to go. 5, 9, 6, 7. What a smashing puzzle. Uh, that is really clever. So, that's the solution. What a brilliant idea. Nordy, Nordy really comes up with some astonishing things. And very Mondrian-esque, in my view which is a Philistine's view. So thank you, as always, for watching us on the channel. Really hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.